While you're busy making travel plans this summer or perhaps 4th of July weekend, don't forget about your pets. Whether you're taking them with you or leaving them behind, there are many things to consider before you leave. That's right. We have Johanna Evans, the owner of Houndstown USA in Clearwater. She joins us now with what you need to know. So welcome. Who did you bring with you? So good morning. Good this morning. morning I brought Zoe with us. She is blind, but she loves people. So. Um, she's also a great guide to providing helpful tips on what we should do in the summertime when we're traveling with our pets. Yeah, and we should let people know she is not up for adoption. Yes, yeah, she is <laughs> not up for adoption. Yeah. Personal <laughs> dog. We do a lot of that here. But um, so tell me, what's the first thing we should do if we're considering bringing our pet with us on a vacation? So if you're going to uh, start your va summer vacation with your pet, my recommendation would be to check with your vet and make sure you're traveling with a healthy pet first. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you have all your vaccines that are up to date and um, you know stick to as close to a routine as possible with your pet when you're traveling so if you feed them at a certain time feed them at that time if you exercise with your dog at a certain time exercise with your dog during that time mm -hmm. um, try to stick to that that daily routine um, you want to make sure if you're traveling by car or plane that they get plenty of exercise prior to entering into that vehicle um, that way it'll help them to stay calm make sure they have plenty of water to drink mm -hmm. Um, that they stay hydrated okay. um, during your travel plans. Um, the other thing I would recommend for um, any anxiety that your pet might have is if they're crate trained, um, make sure you bring your crate to the hotel and have those high value treats. Most dogs <laughs> love treats. There are a few dogs that... that Treat motivated. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, take those high value treats with you and that will also help to keep your dog calm. Keep them in the crate while you're gone at the, from the hotel. Right. Yeah. Um, and then of course we are in Florida, so we hit those hot temperatures. So the right. recommendation uh, would be not to leave your dog in a hot car as it can get as hot as an oven inside your car. Yeah. So, um, you know, up to 170 degrees if you're leaving your dog in the car. So okay. the recommendation would be not to leave your yeah. dog inside the car, even if the window's down, even if you have water. Okay. Make yeah. sure you keep them in a cool, air-conditioned place. Yeah. So you have a, a bigger furry friend, but yes. if we have a smaller dog that we're bringing perhaps on a plane yes. with us and they haven't been in that crate, do you have some suggestions for getting them ready for that flight? So I would suggest if they have not been in a crate before, like I said, with the high-value treats, do it a few days before you travel. That way they can get used to the crate. They know the crate is a safe place. Mm -hmm. Most dogs that are crate trained, um, Zoe was crate trained, mm -hmm. um, the crate becomes their safety net. Mm -hmm. So they know that they're safe and secure, especially with her being blind. She knows that she's okay. You can see she's kind of huddled <laughs> under the chair now because that's what she's finding as her safety net. Okay, okay. so perfect. perfect. Yep. Or maybe like the bag if you're bringing, if they're really little. Yes, you know, and you're putting them in a bag. Putting them in a bag, like do it, you know, a week yep. or two ahead of time yes. to get them used to that new environment. Yes, yes. yes. okay. I, I'd With imagine, those high value treats. Okay, that is the key. <laughs> she said that a few times. Word, a key <laughs> phrase of this interview. Um, so here's a question for you. I'm sure. guessing a lot of planning is involved if you are like staying at hotels, right? Correct. You wanna make sure all the hotels on your route, if you're traveling by car, for example, are dog friendly. Correct. You and by size. Uh, mm. A lot of hotels take 35 pounds or smaller. So taking Zoe, she of course is 130 pounds. Right. So a lot of hotels do not accept dogs of her size. Mm. So make sure that you call ahead and then also make sure you have your vaccines with you because they will ask for that when you're traveling with your dogs. Okay. okay. And what about, um, obviously not everyone can take their pet with them Correct. on vacation. So what advice do you have for if you're leaving your pet behind? So if you have to leave your pet behind, <laughs> I know this is tough and challenging because we all love our pets and we want to bring them with us everywhere we go. But um, a, a doggy facility such as Houndstown, where we do doggy daycare and we also do boarding and cat boarding would be a great place. Your dog is in a safe environment. They're being fed. We usually stick to the schedule routine that you do. Mm -hmm. So we will follow along with that regimen. Um, if you have a dog bed that they like to sleep in, of course, bring that, bring that dog toy that they like, and we'd be happy to accommodate them. Yeah. Do you so, guys have any, um, excuse yeah. me, any deals going on right now for people who've never used your service? before if they just want to see like what a daycare experience is like so I don't know how others work ours we do offer that free first day of daycare just to nice. make sure your pet's gonna be okay there because right. not daycare is not for every dog boarding is not for every dog because right. we do have our dogs interact with one another and some dogs like people they just don't like everyone right. <laughs> <laughs>
So, so yeah, yeah, so your location is going to be opening in Clearwater in a, in a few weeks, in right? In a few, yeah. So yes. we're about eight weeks away from opening in Clearwater, yes. Okay, and then you have some more opening up in St. Pete down the yes. road, right? Yes, okay. so, so it's very exciting. So we'll have two more opening into the St. Pete area coming soon. Okay. okay. Yes. How Talk about what the services you offer, because besides just the boarding, you yes. do um, daycare, like just during the day, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, so um, other services that we offer, we have the daycare where the dogs are interacting with one another. We have the boarding service. We also have spa services, so your dog can go home smelling fresh and clean and get a blueberry <laughs> facial, um, nails clipped, ears cleaned, and we also ask for a taxi service. So if you're not able to travel with your pet to get them to and fro, then of course you can call and make arrangements with the taxi service. Nice. So have yes. you always been really passionate about animals? I love animals. Yeah. Always passionate about animals. So at one point we actually had four dogs, which really? was probably an overcommitment, but I love my dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, you were telling me you were in the healthcare industry yes. and then you kind of left that behind to follow your passion, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it was challenging. 30 yeah. years in healthcare and then leaving to go to my passion, it makes yeah. it much easier though. Absolutely. Yes. Well, we can tell you're passionate about it. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for joining us today. You look very comfy there. Yes, you might have to stick around the rest of the show. <laughs> All right, we're going to put some information on your screen right now to find out more. You can head to their website at houndstownusa.com.